Museums are places where cultural heritage is preserved, studied and enjoyed. The museum is a treasure chest of antiquities and ancient artifacts that reflects a country's civilization, history, people and architectural achievements. Museums are reflections of the past and excellent centers of alternate learning. National Museum New Delhi Located at the heart of the capital is the premier museum of India, housing over 2 lakh artifacts representing 5,000 years of Indian art, history and craftsmanship. The collection in the museum can take you on a fascinating and spectacular journey of the past, at the same time reflecting on the present. Established in 1949 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the present-day President's House at the behest of First Governor-General of India, Sri R.C. Rajagopalachari for six years, National Museum showcased the rich cultural heritage of our country from Rashtrapati Bhavan premises. The foundation stone of the present-day building was laid by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on May 12, 1955 and was formally inaugurated on 18 December 1960 and opened for the general public. National Museum is visited by a large number of people every day. Why do so many people visit National Museum? This is because the museum is a cultural hub with historical anecdotes and beautiful artworks that can enthrall one and all. It is a storehouse of knowledge and resources that visitors can immerse themselves in. This institution encourages learning and fun. The objective of having this grand museum in the capital of India is not just collection of uh, artifacts and antiquities or art objects, but it is also to interact with people, particularly the younger generation and to inculcate in them the feeling of Indian history, Indian culture and civilization. National Museum New Delhi aims to collect art objects of historical, cultural and artistic significance for the purpose of protection, preservation and interpretation. The museum's main responsibility is to ensure that this deep knowledge which is embedded in our collections of objects must be shared and disseminated with the public. The museum has a visitor-centric approach in all its activities, be it exhibitions, gallery displays, programs or educational projects. National Museum actively allows its visitors to understand and participate in heritage, history and culture-oriented experiences of the past. The museum galleries are spread across three levels, starting from the Indus Civilization or the Harappan Gallery, followed by sprawling galleries displaying stone sculptures, miniature paintings, decorative arts, jewellery, traditional Indian paintings, ethnographic collections, coins, textiles, musical instruments and international collections from ancient Central Asia and Central America are all part of the National Museum experience. At the main entrance of the museum stands the tall impressive masterpiece, the Temple Chariot. It is an 18th century octagonal chariot dedicated to Lord Vishnu from Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. The museum is most visited for the collection displayed in the Harappan Gallery that represents the ancient roots of Indian civilization. A range of archaeological pottery, seals, tablets, bead and gold jewelry, toys and copper tools all reconstruct the fascinating story of the Indus civilization which is known to be contemporary to Egypt, Mesopotamia and China. The most significant attraction of this gallery is the Dancing Girl sculpture discovered from Mohanjadaro. 
the prehistoric archaeology section has total collection of 5437 objects including pottery beads jewelry terracotta toys and copper tools the harappan gallery is one of the important and most visited gallery in the national museum india is known for its temple architecture discovered from various temple sites are exquisite stone sculptures carved in sandstone schist granite and marble that can be seen in the sculpture galleries of national museum these masterpieces represent the high craftsmanship of indian sculptures that continues till date india is known for its temple architecture the sculpture discovered from various temple sites which are mostly carved in sandstone schist stone granite and marble the archaeology department of the national museum has a prestigious collection of indian art there are more than 9500 sculptures representing all major region period dynasties the gallery on buddhist art will take you on a spiritual journey sacred relics of buddha unearthed from piprahva and other specimens of buddhist art exhibited in stone bronze terracotta and wood this illustrates how buddhism manifested in various forms of art heritage all over the world the museum is home to one of the largest collections of miniature paintings in asia The Miniature Paintings Gallery is a well curated gallery showing miniatures of all schools of Indian painting Bihari, Rajasthani, Central Indian, Mughal and Deccani. Indian miniatures are well known for their magical rendering of reality and imagination. Reopened in 2015, the Bronze Gallery of National Museum has been contemporarily designed drawing attention to the artifacts on display the gallery also explains how bronze casting was done in ancient times another exquisite collection of objects can be seen in the newly designed decorative arts gallery on the ground floor among the main highlights here is the beautiful ivory tusk carved intricately with the life scenes of buddha The gallery exhibits intricately carved and decorative objects that is difficult to move one's eye from. The decorative arts gallery has several examples of superior craftsmanship that India is home to. Decorative art deals with those kind of artifacts which man had made to adorn themselves, their palaces, their houses, their temples and their surroundings. This decorative art gallery displays three different kind of a material. One is ivory carving, jade carving and ceramics. The museum has one of the finest collections of Indian jewelry in the world, representing each region of India and all kinds of precious jewels that can be worn from head to toe. The jewelry gallery is visited by a large number of people after it opened in November 2014. Ever since the inception National Museum has been acquiring jewelry and this jewelry that we have acquired is representative of tradition and modern tradition it is the continuity of tradition that we see in this gallery so uh, this is our alankar gallery as one approaches the first floor the coins gallery is the first stop and it showcases a remarkable collection the gallery starts from the cowries and ants at the modern day currency that is credit cards it exhibits the history of indian coinage 6th century bc onwards till date we are now in coins gallery in national museum we have one of the richest collections of coins we have more than 119000 coins in our collection out of which we have displayed here 1669 coins in 35 showcases in a chronological order among one of the best international collections in national museum is the central asian antiquities 
drawn from the famous Orenstein collection, the gallery has outstanding wall paintings, sculptures, printed silk banners, coins, porcelain pottery objects, leather, precious stones and wooden sculptures. Central Asia is an enormous area uh, which is identified with the land lying between Tibet and Siberia. The collection is varied and vivid in nature. The time frame goes up to the prehistoric times and it continues up to 13th century AD. The Tanjore and Mysore Paintings Gallery opened in 2013 is one of the new initiatives of National Museum. It is a gallery based on local South Indian style of painting, a tradition derived from domestic practices. Tanjore and Mysore paintings, rich and beautiful as they are, are actually from home shrines of the Vaishnava and Shaivai devotees from the temple town of Tanjore in present-day Tamil Nadu and Mysore in Karnataka. The textile gallery is one of the most beautiful segments on the second floor. It exhibits a fabulous collection of Indian, woven, printed, dyed and embroidered textiles. यह प्रीकोलोमिन कलेक्शन संसार की प्रमुख संस्कृति में से माना गया है कोलंबस ने इसको 1492 में खोज करके निकाला था और इसके दक्षिण पार्ट को जो है इंडियन नाम दिया था इस सभ्यता के प्रमाण हमें करीब 3000 साल पुराने मिलते हैं The glimpse of India's traditional wood carving is another fabulous collection displayed in wood carving gallery Different styles of carving in wood, mainly from the 18th to 19th century, catch the attention of visitors. The 16th-17th century AD antiquately carved mandapa of a Gujarat temple is the main highlight. Wood carving gallery shows the glimpse of wood tradition of India, the four important objects of the wood carving collection. The first one is the earliest one from 9th century a five feet long square pillar with capital. The second one is the 13th, 14th century, a door panel which is displayed in the late medieval gallery. The third is the mandapa of 17th century displayed in this gallery. The fourth and the biggest one is the temple chariot from the mid 19th century displayed near the entrance of this national museum. This is a place for music lovers. The gallery contains various important music instruments from tribal, folk and classical music. Displayed instruments have been divided into categories like string, percussion and wind. The sculpture of Goddess Saraswati playing the veena and old musical instruments are the highlight of this gallery. When you visit the Musical Instruments Gallery, you will find a number of musical instruments which have been mainly donated by Sharan Rani Bakliwal. She was one of the Sarod Maestros and the first women Sarod player. You will find here the wind, percussion and string instruments. Objects, traditions and practices in the state of Northeast India are displayed in a gallery known as tribal lifestyle of Northeast. Traditional costumes, ornaments and paintings give a unique experience to visitors. The Arms and Armour Gallery is particularly popular with children. Different tools from Stone Age up to the Modern Age are displayed here. War accessories and personal armours of great kings and warriors are the main attraction of this gallery. We have here in our collection around 6,457 arms and armor, out of which we have displayed around 600 weapons of all category. The most important uh, weapons on display are the shield of Maharana Sagram Singh, sword of Tipu Sultan, and um, bow of Bahadur Shah Jafar. And here we have all types of weapons of the all regions of this country. National Museum has broadened its scope with different activities for the visitors at regular intervals. Lectures by scholars, film screenings, musical shows, short plays, workshops and many other programs have been running 
at the Museum for Children and Adults. It has also collaborated with various schools, NGOs and other organizations to provide young audiences with an enriching platform and stimulative learning sessions. Through these educational programs that we offer at the museum, the Department of Education tries to contextualize the museum collection that we have at the National Museum and also create platforms and avenues for museum educationers as well as museum visitors to interact with the museum collection with a multidimensional approach. The Education and Outreach Department of the Museum are key to enrich every interface between the museum and the public with an objective to provide a qualitative experience for them. They have introduced a series of new programs and tailored activities for both children and adults to engage with audiences at a deeper level. The museum is also very active on Facebook, Twitter and shares information or updates with its visitors through its website. The Conservation Department of the Museum is solely responsible for conserving and preserving objects from all departments of the museum. The museum uses modern technology and advanced equipment and also provides its services to other institutions to preserve their cultural heritage in its original form. This laboratory caters the need of conservation of National Museum. In addition to this, it also conserve the works of art of Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament House and another organization. The museum publishes a vast variety of books and catalogues on its collections, exhibitions, research books and activity books for children on different themes. An online version of some of the books is also available for visitors to view on the National Museum website. The museum organizes national and international exhibitions around the year and collaborates with institutions world over in order to deliver shows of a superior standard and engage with large number of visitors. A separate exhibition cell has been set up to coordinate these exhibitions with other departments in the museum. The National Museum Library has a vast collection of material on a wide variety of subjects. The collection has more than 60,000 books and journals on history, art and culture which are available to researchers, scholars and students for use. Uh, we get around 700 to 800 visitors every month who uses our uh, research and re reference facility in our library. Uh, beside reference facility, we provide bibliographic services also. Uh, and then uh, we provide uh, bibliographic services like photocopy at a very minimal price. The museum is dedicated to giving each visitor a valuable and enjoyable experience during their visit. Visit the museum today and have a great learning experience. And don't forget to pick up a piece of your memory from our shop.